Next, the thought of building your own house is extremely daunting for anyone like me who has no idea where to even begin. But imagine if you could print out your dream home with a 3D printer. Well, that's exactly what Ahmed Mahil is doing in a suburb of Melbourne in Australia. Now, he's the CEO of Light and Construction, who are building the house. And he says his 3D printed home not only will cost him a lot less than a traditional build, it will be ready to move into in just five weeks. When it's finished, it will be the first 3D printed multi-storey house in Australia. And I asked Ahmed why he chose a 3D printed house. First of all, I didn't have a home. I was renting. Second, the time it takes for you to build while you're paying rent goes at least on an average for 12 months. And that just uh, a lot of cost for someone to wait for the house being built while they are still paying rent. And then when I got quotations for how much would it cost to build this house traditionally and we're on the numbers, it was a no brainer. How quickly can you <laughs> print a house then? Are we talking days or weeks? How long does it take? We built the largest tower crane and that is a robot, and that got us to be able to build the whole walls of the house, internal, external, rather than, than what it would take in the best case scenario, eight months. It took us about four weeks, actually. Oh, so it's, a, it's significantly faster. Uh, and what are the differences in terms of the traditional build house and, and the printed house? Because I'm guessing you're not printing out bricks, yeah. but you're printing kind of full walls in one go. Is that how it yeah. works? brick houses you have to put a brick and then a frame and then a plaster and so it's about four to five trades and then some cladding in some cases we replace those four or five trades with just one printer that, that basically will give us all the intricacies that you need in a wall it's just precision construction can you use the printer multiple times or does each house design have to have its own printer you can change the design actually while you're printing. That's uh, that's the beauty <laughs> of this. And that's what makes this different from, for example, prefab solutions. This is free form. Prefab solutions, for example, you will need to have a whole setup, a whole factory, a lot of overheads. Here is just one device. We think of it like the paper printer. You know, you can write one essay. Oh, you don't like it, change it, you print another. It's about the code. We have walls that have air pockets that increase the thermal efficiency. And also we have put some of these uh, shapes that can diffract noise so that it's not so echoey as most concrete houses is. There are always challenges with new technologies, and I'm guessing you're tackling all of them head on. But, for example, in Australia, the, the extreme weather conditions can come into play in other parts of the world as well. Is a 3D printed yes. home able to withstand some of the environmental challenges that perhaps traditionally people might think brick and mortar might be more suited to? Is it OK with strong winds, for example? That's one of the biggest reasons we're using this technology as well. We're using the most resilient material, and you can design it to be dealing better with wind load. The concrete we use in 3D printing is four times stronger, similar to what you use in public roads and bridges. That's Ahmed Mahil from Light and Construction in Melbourne, Australia, and he will become the owner of the first 3D printed multi-storey house in Australia when it's done in a few weeks' time. I have to say, if someone could 3D print our attic conversion, I'd definitely be up for that. Save us a bit of hassle there. This is Chris Barrow with the newsroom here on the BBC World Service. The time is coming up to 5.20 GMT.